in the last class we have studied about bag of words how does bag of words convert our text into matrix we have seen there was a matrix where there were words on one side and number of sentences on one side may it be number of words this side and number of sentence this side or number of words this side and number of sentences this side this will be a matrix so we can say that number of words into number of sentences or number of sentences into number of words this is the dimension of this particular matrix we have not seen how to code bag of words that we will see Be before that let's try to understand how tf idf works so tf is term frequency and idf is inverse document frequency so for this we need to have some formulas so what happen is term frequency is nothing but number of repetition of a word in a sentence divided by number of words in a sentence for example i have a sentence i have a sentence so if i want to find the term frequency of have term frequency of have so tf of have is nothing but how many times this particular word is repeating in this sentence one and how many number of words are there in this sentence four so one two three four four sentence uh, four words so this is the term frequency of a word term frequency means how many times that particular term is coming in a sentence this is term frequency similarly i can find inverse document frequency it is log of number of sentences in a document and number of sentences containing a particular word so here what happen is log of here we are finding the inverse document frequency so a particular word is coming how many times in a particular document first we were searching for how many times it is coming in a sentence here we are searching for how many time it is coming in a document and inverse of so what happen is let's say a part we have total number of 10 sentences in a document there are 10 sentences in a document so number of sentences in a document are 10 out of these 10 sentences a word have is coming in three sentences number of sentences containing a particular word so inverse document frequency of have is 10 by 3 that is how many times it is coming in sentences so it is coming in three sentences okay this is inverse document frequency let's take an example we have taken the example of after cleaning the data we had three sentences in the last class like good boy good girl and boy and or boy girl good these were the sentences after we have done the cleaning of data we have done the lemmatization or stemming we have removed the stop words everything is done after this we got this particular sentences now let's try to make the table for term frequency and then we will do the inverse document frequency table so first we are finding the term frequency table here so this is for term frequency and we have three words three unique words good boy girl and we have sentence 1 sentence 2 sentence 3 so if we have 100 sentences and 200 unique words the matrix uh, the matrix dimension will be 200 into 100 now see that this formula says that term frequency is number of repetition of a word in a sentence divided by number of words in that sentence see so 
हाउ मेनी टाइम्स वर्ड गुड इज कमिंग इन सेंटेंस वन इट इज कमिंग वन टाइम एंड हाउ मेनी नंबर ऑफ वर्ड्स आर देयर इन दिस सेंटेंस टू सो दिस विल बी वन बाय टू नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स गुड इज कमिंग इन सेंटेंस टू इज वन एंड नंबर ऑफ टोटल वर्ड्स इन सेंटेंस इज टू देन अगेन इन सेंटेंस थ्री गुड इज कमिंग वन टाइम एंड टोटल नंबर ऑफ वर्ड्स इज वर्ड्स आर थ्री सिमिलरली फॉर बॉय नंबर ऑफ वर्ड बॉय नंबर ऑफ रिपीटेशन ऑफ वर्ड बॉय इन सेंटेंस वन इज वन एंड टोटल नंबर ऑफ वर्ड्स टू फॉर सेंटेंस टू बॉय इज नॉट कमिंग इवन वन टाइम सो इट मीन्स इट इज कमिंग जीरो टाइम्स देर इज नो रिपीटेशन ऑफ वर्ड बॉय जीरो टाइम्स जीरो बाय टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो दैट्स वाई वी कैन राइट हियर जीरो देर इज नो रिपीटेशन एंड फॉर सेंटेंस थ्री इट विल बी वन बाय थ्री बिकॉज इट इज कमिंग वन टाइम आउट ऑफ थ्री वर्ड्स फॉर गर्ल वी डोंट हैव एनी रिपीटेशन ऑफ गर्ल इन सेंटेंस वन सो वी कैन राइट अगेन जीरो बाय टू दैट इज जीरो फॉर सेंटेंस टू इट इज कमिंग वन बाय टू बिकॉज वन टाइम रिपीटेशन एंड टू वर्ड्स and again for sentence 3 it is coming one time out of three words so this is how we can develop or we can make our matrix for term frequency now let's try to make the matrix for inverse document frequency inverse document frequency so we have word good boy and girl we are finding inverse document frequency so inverse document frequency says that number of sentences in a doc so for every word it will remain constant for this particular word or this particular word or for any word number of sentences will, will remain same that is 3 for this particular document whereas number of sentences containing that particular word so good is coming in this this and this good is coming every in every sentence boy is coming in two sentences and girl is coming in two sentences so here also we can write like this log of it is having three sentences and each sentence good is coming this is log 1 and log 1 is nothing but zero similarly the number of sentences will remain 3 only but boy is coming in two sentences so we can just assume that i don't know the exact value right now so it will be let's say 0.1 and for girl it will remain 3 by 2 because girl is also coming in two sentences and let's assume that the value is 0.1 now we have got two matrices one is term frequency another one is inverse document frequency now we have to make one table one matrix out of this so what we will do is final result will be term frequency multiplied by inverse document frequency this will be our final result and the multiplication this multiplication is not matrix multiplication is it it is point wise matrix multiplication this is different from matrix multiplication it is point wise point wise matrix multiplication so what is the difference let's say if you were doing matrix multiplication in matrix multiplication if our matrix 1 have dimension of let's say 3 cross 3 and n have matrix of 3 cross 1 then resultant resultant will be of let's say r 3 cross 1 but in point wise matrix multiplication it is not the case it is it may not the case it may not the case so let's try to find the result out of these two matrix and see how the point wise multiplication point wise matrix multiplication goes on so here we have three sentences and three words so we have sentence 1 sentence 2 sentence 3 and let's say we have good boy and girl so what we are going to do is 
we have a word girl good one by two and we have here as zero so for every sentence one for every sentence one in sentence one also in sentence two also in sentence three also for we will multiply it with zero only because here we have only one good so now one by two is multiplied by zero and for sentence one also for sentence two also for sentence three also it will give us zero why because each of this value of good will be multiplied by zero and result will become zero then what we are going to do for boy sentence one is one by two multiplied by point one so what we will have let's say point zero five and for sentence 2 it is 0 because we have 0 here for sentence 3 it is 0.33 multiplied by 0.1 so here also what will we will get 0 0.033 for girl here we have 0.1 but here we have 0 so it will become 0 here it will become 0 0.05 and here we will get 0 0.033 so this is our result this particular thing is our result which will be treated as an input to our machine learning models. We have converted our sentences or our document into a vector or into a matrix and this will be given as an input for prediction purpose. May it be classification or any other problem which you are going to solve using deep learning or machine learning. This will be your data set now. And here you can see few things. What does it denotes? For good, everything is zero. In every sentence, it becomes zero. So it means that TFIDF, TFIDF does not give does not give importance to most frequent word. It has actually given the least importance to the most frequent word. Most frequent word ko bahut kam importance deta hai. This zero denotes that it is absent. For boy, here we have some value. It was present in sentence 1. Here we have some value. It is present in sentence 3. But in sentence 2, this zero is denoting that we don't have, the, we don't have this particular word in sentence 2. Similarly, this word is not present in sentence 1 this zero is denoting particular thing. If the entire row is not zero, that means that particular word is absent somewhere. If the entire row is zero, so that means that we are giving very less importance to that particular word. And there are some problems with both the, both the uh, algorithm. So either it is bag of words or it is TFIDF. There is a problem of semantics are missing. So why semantics are missing? Because here we are not taking the order of words into account. The order is missing. So we don't know. Let's say there was some word bad also and it was also present in every uh, sentence for example. So you may not able to know that whether bad is for boy and good is for girl or bad is for girl and good is for boy we will not be able to find it semantics are missing since the order of the words are not maintained okay there is another problem another problem is TFIDF gives more importance to less frequent words. This is what I mean. Doesn't give importance to most frequent word or the opposite of it is gives more importance to less frequent words. The sec third thing is there is definitely chance of overfitting overfitting chance so what is the meaning of overfitting the meaning of overfitting is when if uh, when you are giving the scene data 
which is the data which you have used for training purpose your machine model is able to find the answer correctly but for unseen data while doing testing it is not able to find the answer so for example if your data is in this form if your data is in this form then you have maintained your uh, fitting like this to consider every data every data so when the data will come here this may fall straight and it will not be predicted this is case of overfitting what should actually happen actually it should happen like this so while doing training it is having some error for a small error for already seen data so that that small error can be considered in the unseen data also if we were doing correctly then red line would have happened but for overfitting we have exactly covered the data which is seen and we are not able to fit the data which is not seen or unseen so this is our uh, difference of bag of words and tfidf and this problem can be solved by using word to vec